we say this is not just present in the land, but it's present around the world. It's everywhere. Is that a system? And I'm not even touching the witches. I'm not even touching that. And guess what? When you visit a so-called Ngunza or traditional healer, a fake, I will say fake traditional healer, those who use plants, natural medicine, plus the invocation, invoking the, the familiar spirit, when you consult them, you will put yourself in trouble. Why? Because they, 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 you know, they, they, there is still things I'd like to share with you. When you consult them, they applied two methods and techniques to apparently heal you. Two techniques. There is two methods and two techniques. The so-called Ngunza or traditional healer, they apply to you when you go and visit them. You will pay money, they, you will go through a ritual and stuff and they will apply two methods or techniques used in Kurandirismo or Hillerism, two techniques. And this thing is present in the land, as we said, and around the world. But we will speak about land. Let's speak about what is ours because we are concerned about our own people. We are concerned. Let's see. Let's go, Elder. Method of substitution or replacement. When yes. someone is suffering from a... A second. The first method, when you go to consult them, the first method they will apply to suppose, you know, to apparently providing a healing to your body. The first method is the method of substitution or replacement. Dear family, nobody can deceive you. Nobody can deceive us. We know them very well. And we are bringing this message for your own good, for our own good. If you need a person wanting this message, share. Yes, Elder, we can go. When someone is suffering from a problem that prevents them from having children or illness, that is, because they have a spirit tormenting one or several areas of this person's life, this person goes to the Gila, the Ngunza, the Kimbandero, or the Sangoma. Yes. And the last act that we... Sorry, go ahead. <clears throat> yes, sorry, Elder. Those are the person our people consult. And this thing is very common at the in, in the village, very common. They consult the heal, traditional healer, Ungunza, so called Ungunza. In Angola, we, we say Kimbandeiro, Kimbanda. In South Africa, they call it Sankoma. Yes, Elder. And the first act that will occur when a person goes to the traditional healer is fortune telling. Acts chapter 16, verse 16 to 18 where that spirit that is bothering the person is in harmony or contact with the healer or the kimbandero. Because the healer is in tune with the same source underground from which that spirit that torments that person comes from. Whether this spirit is demonic or familiar spirit. The tormenting spirit communicates then with the healer via spiritual trance explaining everything the tormented person is going through. And the healer therefore informs the person everything that he, the healer has been listening from the spirit as if he were prophesying to the person that he is simply fortune telling. Le Yala. 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 Do you see how it's happened family? You will go to meet this guy, so-called Gunza or Kimbandero Sangoma, and say, I'm sick, I have this and that. Because the spirit is up on you, disturbing you. Like that child that we saw in the video, the child there, you know? 
So the, the guy, after he does the, the ritual, he will look to, to you and he will start to communicate with the spirit that is upon you through spiritual trace. And the spirit that is stabbing your body will tell everything you are going through to the so-called Ngunza, the spiritual healer. And the spiritual healer will tell you everything he heard, like he's prophesying to you. You are going through headache. Am I correct? Yes, you're correct. Ngunza, okay. And you've been suffering for three years, right? Yes, 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 you're right. He's not prophesying, he just heard from the spirit that was stabbing you. There is a connection between them. There is a, they, they understand each other very well. And look what's happened now. Elder, let's go. So after that, the person will think that the healer is deep in revealing prophecy. Therefore, a method of substitution occurs where the, that spirit will tell the healer that for me to leave this person's body, some other spirit from the same kingdom must come and substitute me. Yes. This is... Let's just take an elder. This is how it's happened. The spirit now upon, you know, if you are sick, the spirit upon your body will negotiate with the healer and say, you know what? I won't leave this body unless somebody else take over because this body belongs to us. You know, when Isaiah was rebuking, was casting that demon and asking, what is your name? They say, we are legion, many in one. So the spirit will negotiate with the healer saying, I will not leave this body unless Somebody from the same kingdom, Elder. Um, yeah, this is then when the method of substitution happens. The healer will make the needed ritual where that spirit of sickness will come out. And another spirit, for example, of unemployment or infantility comes in. This is just a scam, family. Bongola Meso, Mwene, wake up, open your eyes to see. Bongola Meso. Mwene. Mwene. Bongola Meso. Mwene. 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 Let us open our eyes to see, family. This is wisdom. And Nzambi is commanding us to give you this. Because Kadyam Pemba, this is what is busy doing. This is what he's busy doing, can you remember? This is what he's busy doing to deceive our people as much as he can. He's busy doing this family. And this is what we call a method of substitution or replacement. And when you leave, you will think that you are healed. You say, hey, I'm healed. But guess what will happen next? It, it may happen it may happen that this new spirit will take a while to manifest but when the time comes it manifests and starts to attack the person again by causing another situation in which the person must go again to meet the so-called Ngunza or traditional healer Yala. Do you see the trap, family? Do you see the trap, how it works? Yeah. You will think that I'm healed, but they just make a substitution, a replacement. The spirit of headache is gone, but the spirit of coffee is was downloaded. And it will take a while. But it will hit you again, it will attack you again, and it will cause you to go again to the to the so-called healer, Ongunza. 
Ende? Ist es bis Woche der Mutter? Unfortunately, yeah, the person now time. ends up becoming. Sorry. Uh, unfortunately, the person now ends up becoming a slave and dependent on the healer. That is why many people get stuck in this kind of life, connected and attached to the healer. After the person um, goes to the healer, the healer and the spirit will agree to leave the body alone by applying the transfer method. Yes. Le Can you hear me? Can you hear me, family? Yes. 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 You know, unfortunately, the person ends up becoming a slave. The person will go, will keep, will continue to go again and again, again and again, again, and go. And guess what? Spending a lot of money, money after money, money after money, money after money. That's why many people they get stuck in this kind of life. And guess what? And after the person goes to the healer once again. And say, you know, ah, now I have no, I lost my job. I'm going, you know, I have, I can't, you know, I'm going through this and that. They will be like, oh, okay. And the healer and the, the new spirit that is up on the person will agree so that the person, the spirit within the person leaves the body alone by applying another method in which we call the transfer method. So the spirit will leave you alone. You will be fine. As a parent, you will be fine. You will live, you will live peacefully. But guess what? If you didn't finish, it will still come behind you. How? By applying the method of uh, the transfer method. Yes, Elder Mutav. Transfer method. At this method, the spirit that is dominating the body of a person negotiates with the healer that he, the spirit, will only leave the body alone if an agreement be made for him, which is the spirit, to use one of the children of that victim or person. Mm -hmm. Yes, Elder, let's go. And the problem is that the so-called gunza or traditional healer will not tell you all this thing happening because that is a private conversation between him the healer and the spirit by a spiritual trance after this, the healer will only <clears throat> sorry Elsa. Yeah. Yeah. the guy will not tell you anything he will keep quiet he will not let you know what is Truly going on, will not. Yes, Elder Mutal. After this, after this, the healer will only tell you what is needed for you to be healed by asking something, whether it is a chicken or goat or something else. But the truth of the matter is that the true price you'll be paying for the ritual or healing process is to go well and be apparently effective. He will not disclose that to you. Le mm -hmm. He will negotiate with the spirit. The spirit will say, you know what? I will leave this person alone, but I have to use one of his children. The healer will say, oh, yes, no problem. So the spirit will tell the healer to tell you to go through this or that ritual. And the so-called Ngunza or traditional healer, you know, will tell you what is needed for you to be healed. In other words, what is needed for the spirit to leave you alone by asking you whether it is a chicken, a goat, or something else. One chicken represents one person of your family. Remember, we are not even touching witchcraft. <laughs> we are not even mm -hmm. touching. We're just touching, you know, what the familiar spirit do against our own people. Familiar spirit is a relative spirit. 
for example, my grandfather or my great 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 grandfather. If my grandfather was wicked, and if I consult him by invoking him, which kind of advice will he give me? Evil. Our family. If my grandfather was a wicked, if he was a, a wicked, he passed away. Now I have to invoke his spirit. Which kind of advice will he give to me? Wicked spirit. Wicked. 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 We evil. That's why we don't like the stuff. And it is possible those who invoke the So the, the healer will whatever you give represent of your family. If he asks you for chicken, it represents someone of your family. And you wonder why you know many people who went to these places, they ended up losing all their family members. They end up losing their family members. After you, you leave this place, a few, you know, a while, a while later, you will see somebody died. This is, this happened in the, in, in the land. Are we doing this to scare you? No, but to wake you up. So that we must have the wisdom, the knowledge from above that not everything we listen or we see is in line. No, not everything is in line. Elder, let's go. This is what happens at the transfer method. The spirit that was tormenting the person is transferred to one of the person's children. At first, everything has seemed fine at a certain period. But years or decades later, one of the children will be paying for that. And maybe it may happen that the person, the parent, who did that is not alive anymore. Family, is it familiar? Is this thing familiar that we just read? Yeah, it is. How many, how many of our people, they say, you know what? I feel like something was done to my, you know, I think, I feel like in my family, there is some, in my family lineage, there is something that is already stabbing me. Is it similar family? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's similar. Many of our people we will say, you know what? I don't know. But in my, my, my family lineage, there is something evil that is already stabbing our family. There is always something disturbing. Those are the kind of stuff. Some parents, they do. And the children, they will pay for that. And some of our brothers and sisters, they are paying for that because their parent, they consulted those entities. And this is what we call the transfer method. As a parent, the spirit that was disturbing you will leave you alone and will jump to the next generation. And until now, until there may be the person who caused this situation is already gone, is dead. Yes, Elder Mutav. Therefore, the solution from so-called healers on Gunza is apparent healing is not effective. Effective solution only comes from Tatanzambi Amazulu and Kusua Congo. The man dressed in line, addressed in line, uh, Daniel chapter seven, verse nine to 14. For Tatanzambi does not give an apparent solution, but gives you a total solution to save the whole generation. 
לובוב אמור! יאללה! 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 תראה אותה מוצב. זמבי? Zambi does not give you a crutch as they do, but he gives you legs for you to run and not get tired. But those who wait on a limo, the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31. לובוב אמור! יאללה! זמבי אופרן קנדה, וויזה דו, פוטו סמבולה, דוקא וואווי יקוולם פו. קטע. If you, if the message doesn't apply to you, share with someone who needs this message. Because our people, they need this wisdom. Our people need this way. They're thirsty to embrace our culture, our tradition. You, he knows that we are thirsty to embrace what was lost. But whenever we are thirsty to get something back, there will be a lot of offering, a lot of offering. When you go to the market place to buy something, some people from other stores, if you go to a mall, they will call you. When we went in the land, you know, I like to this, use this example. When my master number was in the land, she will take a list, you know, when she wants to buy some stuff. She will carry a list to the mall, which is listed only the stuff she needs. And some of these guys, they will like, Do you want this? Do you want to, you know, if if we go to a, a mall like a, where they sell cloth and stuff, some other guys they will come like, do, do you want to exchange money? You know, do you want to do this? And that? People will come and try to offer many things we don't need. She doesn't need. And when she goes to the mall to buy some stuff, she is taking the list with her And sometimes she will be looking, oh, this, 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 this tall cloth is nice. Look, these shoes is very beautiful. Look, these shoes. She will ask her kid, you know, Sita Sunda, Sita Sunda, look this. So it's like, mom, we came here to buy food only. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't come here to shop cloth, only food. <laughs> mom, let's go to the store and buy food, period. She's like, I'm just saying, no, mom, let's go. And she's like, okay, she will check her list. Ah, you're right, yes, let's go. And they will go to the store. And when they get to the store, they will only buy what is in the list. Whatever is not in the list, they didn't play to get that. And that is the same thing we should do, family. Forgive me to say that, but awakening is a market. What you will find is like a mall. You will find many, many things. But some stuff you don't need, believe me. Check your list and only buy, only get what is on your list. Everything else? Move on. We love our land, we love our culture, we love our tradition. We, Zolela, we've mixed with the people 
we found in the land, the Canaanite, the Amorite, Jebusite, all of them. So now we don't know his who. Whenever somebody trying to come and saying this is our culture, this is our culture, this and that, check against what Canaan Zam says. Because Kadyam Demba knows how taste, how thirsty we are to discover our, 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 our tradition. And what we just read, what the so-called Nguns of Trishana Hila, they do, it is happening. It is happening. And some of them, if you are women, when you go to them to heal you, you will see how they, they behave. Some of them, when you go to heal them, if, you know, if it is a man and you are women, you need healing, you will see how we behave. You will take advantage of the moment to touch you. And even, even can ask you your number and try to text you and stuff. And later on, he will start to look to you as his wife. This is what's happened, you know, in the Togo Assembly. Evater, when the money is upon them, they do healing. But if the vater is a male and the person we seek is a female, the vates, they are not allowed to touch the women or to do a massage or anything. They are not allowed. They are not allowed to avoid temptation. The mother is there. But the moment the mother leaves the body, what will happen? So, if you consult a vat, a male vat, and if you're women, you need healing. The vat, the one that will use the vat, the one that will give instruction and will call a lady, come lady. will tell the lady everything that needs to be done. If you need a massage, you're feeling pain, you, they need to use oil, you know, olive oil and stuff. The men is not allowed to touch you. You will instruct the lady to take you in a private room, you, a woman that is sick, and a lady. And the lady will massage you. After that, you can come back where the vat is. The vat doesn't see your body, no. And the same thing, if the vat is a female body, and me, as a man, I'm sick, and they need the massage or healing, the women is not allowed to touch my body as a man. The one that threw that sister or mother will give instruction to an elder, a male person, and the elder will take me to a private room to do massage to me, if he, in case I have to take remove, you know, the t-shirt to do massage, let me say the back, for example, I have, if I have a back pain, you know, we take even if I don't remove the shirt just to massage my body, the women can stay there and see, you know, uh, my body. No. Back in the days, the prophet they were able to do anything because they're righteous men. But nowadays, Things are very tough. And to avoid, you know, the prophet to fall, that is the structure that the Nzami gave. I don't know if that makes sense, but that is how it, how it that's how it, it works. But what we see out there, the women will touch the men. The men will touch the women. Later on, you will hear that the so-called Guza or Hila impregnated the women. 
there is a lot of history family. There is a lot thing that's happened. I'm pregnant. Who pregnant you? The healer. Who? <laughs> oh, the Ngunza. It's a Ngunza. Ngunza like a prophet. The prophet. So, Matolo Masaka family, we appreciate your patience. We pray that this message may help you to understand anything important. And if you know anybody who needs this message, please, please share the message. Share the message. We will pray and we will, then we will jump to uh, question and answer. Mama Zola, can you lead us in a prayer? Katanzami am Pundu to Lindo, Amari Samana, Amari One. The mighty one of Isola Lay, the mighty one of all the hosts. Father, we thank you. We thank you for what you've fed us. We thank you for what our ears have heard. And we thank you, Father, for what you have fed us today. Father, you are so good to us. Oh, Father, we thank you for the truth that makes the soul lay free, Father. I pray that you would help us, Father, to take heed to your word, Father, that we would not fall prey, that we would not be deceived in any way, Father, or fall into traps, Father, set by the enemy, Father, because we're seeking, Father, your, the one that Velala, your spirit of truth leads us and guides us into all truth. And for that, we say, Matondo Masaka, Father. Help us to follow the Mwanda Velala, Father, and not to follow a false light, a familiar spirit, Father. We thank you for the spirit of truth leading us and guiding us in all truth, Father. And we ask that you would help us to continue, Father, to give us the spirit of discernment, Father. Let us, let us be able to discern, Father, the spirit. Let us be able to test these spirits, Father. Let us use the keys that you've been giving us to try every spirit and see if it be of you, Father. We know that many spirits have gone out into the world to deceive your people, but Father, you would not have us to be ignorant of Kadiam Pemba's devices, Father, but you want us to know the truth, Father, the truth that makes us free, so you gave us the spirit Spirit of truth, the Mwanda Velala, to lead us and guide us into all truth. And for that, we say, Matondo Masaka. Sirieto Koko Zulu, Yambo Lazina, Diako Diaziti Swanga. Ikentino Kiako Kiza, O Luzolo Luaku Lavanga, Ma O Vansini Koko Zulu, Tuvanu in the Niaquetu Kualumbo, Kelumbu, Tolo Loco, Mamusi, Mumiet, Mieto. And dole loca, tula loca, and gata to eto, to fidi comuna pucamuni, utu blusa muna and bicariaco, e cantino, e golo, e cambo, and boo, and boo. In get up. In get up. In get up. Vou vamos. Yala. 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 Vou vamos. Yeah. 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 One last thing. When the Muana Velela came down in Congo, 1949, after the international conference that was done in Africa, to ask that them for help. When the Muana Velela came down, those people who do this kind of practice, when the Muana came down upon them, the Mwanda forced them to remove all the rubbish they used to keep in their houses mm. before the elders present bones, bones, snakes, all the stuff. And they, they were confessing everything. They will say, yeah, my cousin, she's sick. I'm the one who caused her to be sick. 
the will is started to confess everything. And uh, the wonder they cause, you know, uh, 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 people to rise in the community, this in Congo. The Mwanda Velala, you know, was catching, we call it the Abba Father spirit, was catching those people who practice those kind of stuff and forcing them to go and confess. And because of that, other people, they were complaining. And that made the government, the, the Belgium government, to stand against the elder who were causing this stuff. So our own people, they're complaining because they saw the real prophet. They were making their prophet to bow down and confess their sins. And because of that, people, they started protesting and the government, they stood against the elders and they took all of them, they put them in jail because they caused people to protest. This happened. And you will see something similar that's happened also if you read the book of Act, Act chapter 16. You know, uh, uh, Elder Mutab, do you have your Bible there for us to read, for us to read quickly? Acts chapter 16, verse uh, 16 to 18. Yes, please. And it came to pass, as we went to prayer, a certain lady possessed with a spirit of divination matters, which brought her masters much gain by suit saying. The same followed Paul and us, and cried, saying, These men are servants of the Most High, the Tanzambi, which shows us unto the way of salvation, which shows unto us the way of salvation. And this did she many days. But Paul, being grieved, turned and said to the Spirit, I command ye in the name of Messiah to come out of her. And he came out of the same hour. Yes, continue, Elder. And then? And when her, and when her masters saw that the hope of their gains was gone, they caught Paul and Silas and drew them into the marketplace unto the rulers. <clears throat> and brought them to the magistrates, saying, These men, being Jews, do exceedingly trouble in our city, and teach customs which are not lawful for us to receive, neither to observe, being Romans. Get that. So they beat Paulo. He was beaten also, because the people, they used to benefit from that spirit. Same thing. And that is the same thing actually that's happening in Congo. When the Moana came and was rebuking the spirit that was dominating the people, he put his raised against those people. And they were, they were protesting. <laughs>